We were going to talk about the tooltip widget, but we're going to do that in the next video because I wanted to talk about another subject, and that is themes in the jQuery UI. Now, I want you to go out to jQueryUI.com and go to the theme roller page, and I will provide the link to that in the description of this video. Now, basically, jQuery UI widgets all have the same appearance. They basically have the same theme and look. It doesn't matter which widget you decide to go with. But that theme may not be what you're looking for. You may have a theme that's tailor-based for your website, a particular color scheme that you want to use. And that's where Theme Roller comes into play. It allows you to pick your own theme. Now, you can either develop your own customized theme, or you can click from a gallery that the jQuery UI team has been nice enough to provide. So, if you'll take a look at the link here, you'll see there's two main tabs, Roll Your Own and the Gallery tab. Now, the Roll Your Own tab allows you to customize your own theme. And you can pick everything from font settings to the hover state. You can basically put together your own custom theme. So that's one way. And then the other way is this second tab right here, the Gallery. Now, we're going to go ahead and select the Gallery tab in this video. And once you click on that, you'll see all of these different themes. You'll see the lightness theme, and that's actually one of the default themes. And you can pick whatever theme you want out of here. I'm going to go ahead and pick the sunny theme right down here. So you want to hit the download button. And once you do that, you'll get this download or build page. And basically, this allows you to actually pick the particular widgets that you want to select. Now, usually I just select all of them. So you can scroll down all the way to the end of the page and select download. Now, once you've done that, you'll get a jQuery UI folder. Now, I've renamed this to the sunny theme, so I suggest you should do that too. So name it jQuery UI hyphen sunny theme, and then move that into our website folder. Now, what I want you to do is actually take the original pack that we downloaded, go ahead and copy that and paste right back into the folder, and we're going to rename that too. And we're just going to call this original theme. And that way you have a copy of both themes, an original copy that we're not going to alter. Now, if you open up the Sunny theme or whatever theme you downloaded, you'll notice it's the same library, basically. All the same files, whether it's the CSS or jQuery files, and they all have the same naming convention. So what does that mean? Well, it means we can just go ahead and copy and paste all of these into our jQuery folder, our original one. And if we want to switch back to our original theme later, we can. So again, go ahead and select and copy all the files in whatever theme folder you downloaded. And then we're going to right click and paste into our original folder. And then you're just going to select this, do this for all current items. You'll get another prompt here. Just hit this and we're going to do a copy and replace. And now we've copied all the files for our new theme. And the nice thing about this is we don't have to do anything else, right? Since these files are all the same, we don't have to update our main index.html because they already point to the same file names and we have the same folder name. So this should be relatively easy. So we don't even really need to open up Notepad Plus here. We can just right click on our index.html and let's go ahead and open that with Google Chrome. And let's go ahead and maximize this. And if we click into our input box, look at that. We've got this nice new theme. Isn't that really cool? So again, the theme roller is really an excellent utility. And the nice thing about it is it will generate all of the files for you. All of the CSS files, all of the jQuery library files that we need. Everything that you need, it will automatically generate it for you. Even if you decide to do a custom theme where you put in your own colors that match the look and theme of your own website. So that's why the theme roller is really a cool utility. So you can continue on with whatever theme you want throughout the rest of the series. I'm actually going to switch back to the original theme, but again, you can continue to use whatever theme you want for the rest of the series. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.